JSON is a minimal, readable format for structuring data. It is used primarily to push and pull data to and from the web. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. There are various JSON data types, and some include integers, floating points, strings, booleans, arrays, and objects. A JSON object contains name and value pairs. JSON arrays are written inside square brackets. You store JSON objects inside of an array. Hey, what is up guys? CodeBeast here making a new video. And today I'm starting a new series uh, called Advanced Java Concepts. So at the beginning of the video, there was a little PowerPoint presentation um, showing you what JSON is, uh, what it stands for, what are arrays, objects, etc. So now we're going to get all this information and put it into um, into Java so let's do this so first let's go create a new project so it's going to be maven so press next here let's call this Jason and then let's do the column dot code beastie let's remove the snapshot let's just keep it 1.0 all right so next now you can just name this whatever you want all right so now the workspace is going to load up and while that's loading up, we're going to go to OKHttp. OK it is an HTTP client for Android and Java applications, and it handles GET requests, a POST request, um, DELETE requests, and UPDATE requests. So, um, to download it, click here the download thing, and you get the Maven, uh, the Maven tags. So let's copy this. Let's go back to our project. So now in the palm.xml, we're going to put dependencies here dependencies and this is where we're going to put all our dependencies so dependencies all right there we go as well we need json um json basically is one of google's apis um google json so and it's going to be really useful for what we're using all right so now once you put that in up here i'll say maven projects need to be imported so put import changes or enable auto import so that's what i'm going to do all right, so we go here to our project source, main, and Java. Right click and create a new package. All right, so once we've created our new package, we're going to make a new class, so we'll name it main or whatever you want to name it. All right, so once we start that up, uh, we're going to do public static main and then string array and then args. There we go. Oh, don't forget the void. All right. All right, so I have the Twitch link over here. That's the API we're gonna be using in this episode. Um, so let's get this and let's go over here. Or yeah, let's close that and put this here. So you can put a username or whatever you want. So we're gonna be using Captain Sparkles as an example. So now you're gonna hit Control A and copy all this JSON data. And now you go over here, so convert XML or JSON to Java Pojo classes. So now you put the JSON in there and press submit. So now once you press submit, it will create this. Um, it has all the fields and this minifies the JSON, which is really useful. You don't want to load all the JSON up because that's really inefficient. So let's copy that. Let's go over here and let's put, let's name this JSON. All right, so we're going to call this Twitch API. All right, so now in here, we put that, and there we go. So control Alt L. All right. So now there's as well there's another class called Link. So copy this as well. All right, there we go. Go over here. New Java class, and then underscore Links. All right. Put that there. Control S. All right. So there we go, everything's looking good. All right. So now we're going to go to back to our main class. And over here on my other monitor, I have the, the information that we need to start OKHttp. OK so we're going to do private static OKHttp OK client. All right. And then it's going to, and we're going to name it client equals to new OKHttp OK client. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're going to go back into the OKHttp OK and we're going to copy this. 
So let's go back here and let's do public static string run. All right, so import all of this. Import and import from um, column.squareup.okhtp.request. Okay, and in response, you imported that as well. All right. So let's name this get JSON. All right. So now we're going to do public static string uh, array of strings. So string array. All right. Get user data and string username. All right. So to save time, I'm going to copy some of the values in here. So let's put that there. All right. And then, yeah, we have to as well initialize this variable. All right, there we go. So now here comes the fun part. So now we're going to use uh, JSON. So JSON, JSON equals JSON, or yeah. Or no, actually new JSON. I'm sorry. All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna do um, Twitch API, and then Twitch API equals JSON dot from JSON, and then JSON, and then Twitch API dot class. So basically, this get all the all the JSON and it puts it in, into the into these variables in this um, class and it minifies the JSON as you can see. All right, so let's control S. Remember to save your document. And now we're going to return string array. And then now we can do, um, so let's do bio plus um, Twitch API dot get bio. And you can get various values from um, JSON um, ID. Let's get their ID. So make sure you separate them with colons so you can read them easily. All right there we go. Plus Twitch API. Dot get ID. All right, so that's what we're gonna be getting. So now go down here and end that like that. Um, let me make sure everything's here. All right. Remember to return a new string array. All right, there we go. All right, so let me format this. There we go. All right, so up here now we're going to do get user data, and we're going to put Captain Sparkles. All right. So now you're going to cut this from here, and now we're going to iterate through all the values. So string string. Um, and then get user data and then we're just going to print it out to the console system.out.println there we go and then all right so now we go to run and run and then main configuration all right so now it's building the program and it should grab all the values there we go so um, Captain Sparkles bio says hi there. I'm Jordan and I play games and his idea is one five 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 four five nine one So this concludes this episode of advanced Java concepts um, go check out Looney down below in the description um, He helped me out with the graphics. Thanks a bunch Looney um, And yeah, that concludes this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Peace